another way in which a page table can be maintained is through hashed hashed page tables in the previous video what we have seen is we have seen the two level paging the how the page table can be kept in a hierarchical using hierarchical page table technique now we are going to see using hashing how a page table can be maintained so normally the page table uh, can be uh, uh, the hash hash technique will be used to for uh, storing the page tables in terms when the address space is uh, more than 32 bits logical address space is more than the 32 bits so the virtual page number the which when i say virtual page number it is nothing but the logical page number which the cpu generates so it is hashed into the page table so this page table contains a chain of elements hashing to the same location. In the previous case, what we have seen is the page table itself is very big. But now it's not like that. We are going to keep a simple page, page table, a simple page table where you can keep it in the main memory uh, in one frame itself. Even if more number of entries are there, we are going to keep it in a single frame. But how we are going to access the other page tape, uh, uh, pages, that is where the difference. So the virtual page number generated by the CPU is hashed into the page table. This page table contains a chain of elements hashing to the same location. Instead of this page table, so like this, here we are going to keep it as a chain. If zero address, if zero page is accessed, then this will be accessed like that. So now we'll see how it is done. Now let us take this example. Uh, uh, this is the logical address generated by the CPU, page number. This is called, what I mean by virtual page number. Uh, then this is the offset, that is within that page number, which line, that, is, that we call it as the offset. Okay, so now this page number is uh, given as an input to the hash function, where this hash function produces, it hash to, has to means it's mapped to a particular value in the hash table where let us say hash table entry is uh, from 0 index to 1024 let us map 1024 or like that here for this uh, explanation purpose i have taken hash table to consist of 100 entries only so what happens hash function how the hash function works with this page number how to uh, divide it by 100 and only the uh, that is you have to find the mod function so when you do mod function, the remainder will be taken and that will be taken as an index. So for example, if the page number is 123, then you apply hash function. Uh, what is that? Uh, this is nothing but the maximum uh, index of the hash table. That is for the division portion. That is the first portion is the page number. So page number mod 100. 100 is nothing but again I say uh, the hash table maximum size that is 0 to 100 what we have taken 100 entries we have taken so the, the maximum length of this hash table is 100 so that is what i am taking it under denominator portion so p mod 100 will give you 23 100 123 mod 100 will give you the 23 now what happens even if page number is 123 hash to the 23 index let us take I have given and drawn here separately to so 23 let us take the 23 index where this is connected to some link list where the link list consists of three portions the first portion is nothing but the actual page number the page number which is uh, which is the logical address and then the original logical address not this uh, hash function the original <coughs> logical address and then the next one will be the frame and then the next field will be the next value that the uh, it points the next link list uh, join. So here, the for example, 23 is, uh, when you do 123, you get 23. And then you write, you, you form a link list where the first page, first will be the page number. If it is 23, it can also be a page number. So 23, it is actually present in the frame number 50. And uh, if you want to, if it is not matching, then the, Next page will be the next link list will be search. So here it is 123. So 123 also has the same function, same place. That is 
So for example, if it is 143, when you divide it by 100, you get 43. So that will go to the next one. But when the next page number, logical page number is 23, then when you modify 23, it goes to the, in that case, a match is found. Exact match has to be found. This is the page number. Then when it is 423, again, you hash it, it, it go to the same location. So how you can uh, store these values? Because there are three entries which are hashing to the same location. So in that case, how to keep the page number? By using the link list. So that the next field, it points to the next link list of the same chain, of the chain. So if, say for example, if the uh, page number here, page number hashed is 423, let us imagine 423 and it is 23. Now searching starts here. First link is checked. Is it equal to 423? No. So now using this pointer, it moves the next link list. Now the pointer will have the, this is a pointer field, will have the next link list address. Here it is stored at the location 500. So that is what's stored here. Using this, we move the next uh, link list. Now 123, is it matched? No. Now how to move to the next one? By using the next field. 600 is the next member location where the next list is stored. Now 423, yes, a match is present. So now this frame will be taken. So which means, this page number is stored in this frame. So 92th frame. So from this, this R. Here, it is generally shown. This is the page number, visual page number, and this is a frame number. So since it is not matching, it goes to the next one. If it is matched, if this is also matched, that will be taken. So if it is not matched only, we will go to the and search the next one. So here it is as usual. Since we are searching 423, it has to this then it is not matched, not matched. Now a match is found. Now this frame number is extracted and it is kept, it is uh, the real physical address is formed. So with frame number and this offset, it goes the respective frame number and the particular offset, the particular address will be uh, executed by the operating system. It will be taken, located, and then executed by the uh, operating system. So this is how a hash page table entry is formed. So this actually largely save the space but still what happens if there are more number of chains then it becomes a linear search so that uh, overhead is there in this uh, 